your boy. He was little, little boozy. He was a little boozy, little bad booty, badass. Yeah, yeah, you can't leave the badass. Off. Now you can't call him little no more because he grown. Grown man, baby, busy. Now he's boozy, badass, boozy. And now he feels like he's a boopak. Boopak. It's just strong, strong words. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Playing off a of Tupac if you didn't get it, right? Uh your boy Boosie, Baton Rouge's finest. <laughs> he's a beast. He's been dealing with the devil for a long time. And I say that as like he's a devil. Yeah, speaking of the devil. Uh, he's been dealing with trying to get the devil off him for a minute. Yeah. He's had a lot of issues. Yeah. You know, he was trying to get like, the devil off him before Big Crit was. We, you know what I'm saying? We've all witnessed his issues. You know? Jesus we Christ, this man been through everything. We've, we've been able to see everything yeah. firsthand. Everything. Medical issues, out. street issues, the law, dealing with the law. Yeah. Cases. Yeah. Just yeah. everything. Everything. Uh, and he's still here, man. He's still holding it down. Uh, what was your initial reaction listening to this Boosie project? Satisfied. Satisfied. Satisfaction. You know what I'm saying? Hearing this, I was like, yes. Yeah. This is this Is, this is, is, it cause you, is it because you're slightly an old head? <laughs> it's a possibility. <laughs> it's possi- but, but you know what? That, but at the same time, a lot of old heads would agree that that is hip hop. Right, yeah, you know? and and there's some young heads that well, were southern were, old heads. Well, yeah, yeah, because the East Coast heads they're like they're probably like fuck Boosie. It's a possibility. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, there's, there's East Coast heads and West Coast like heads the, that fuck the, with southern people. The up up north they're like fuck Boosie. There's, I mean, I'm not saying he don't got people he could fuck with, people that fuck with him and he's dead. Yeah. People fuck with him worldwide, but like I bet you, the people in New York don't like him as much as the motherfuckers in Texas. Here. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? No lie. Right. Uh, no fucking lie. My initial reaction was uh, uh, that uh, it was just it was like it was just real ass music. Fuck yeah, you know what I'm saying? That fool was airing shit out. Just, yeah, just is speaking the truth. To come, that's what you call speaking from the heart. Right. He's out there just spitting his shit, like telling you his backstory and shit that we have witnessed. Like I'm saying, like he actually talks about it on there. Right. You know. I mean that's. That's like some real shit. It's almost, you know, that's, I'm saying that's some real shit. And yet his album is called Bupac. And who is right. Tupac and known I, as? And the realist. I think people, when they first seen this, they were like, oh, another nigga thinking that Tupac. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think I don't that think he's doing it that way. No, nah, but I think you could tell he was inspired by it. Like, I'm just going to be as real as possible. It's straight up. To me. Tupac was you known as saying? the realist. So right. I'm going to come out so real that <clears> I need to be, I need to label this Bupac. Right, right. You know, he's a uh, OG. I mean, listen, he's an OG in the game. You know what I'm saying? Boosie, uh, yeah. Boosie has risen from a little young skinny ratchet to, you know what I'm saying? To time of OG. To OG. OG you never thought we would see this day? I didn't know. Well, Boosie would be just a, kind of an old head a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Well, with all the shit that he was going through, right. I knew that if he was to get past it, that that would be it because that's what happened. That, that's that's how you earn your stripes, right? Going through shit, getting <clears> through <throat> it, right? And, and and getting past it. Still, I'm a dog, diabetic, and all. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I guess like the overall theme that I get from this man, it was it was just like like life, but it was hood life, the struggles. You know what I'm saying? Which is to be honest with you, themes that he's talked about before, but yeah, probably is real. This is probably the realest that he probably came with it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I, I feel, I agree. Yeah. Uh, cause I've heard some of these types of songs from Boosie before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but, but not, a, not, not, a, not as a whole album in a sense. You right, know? right. You hear it, you hear it in his albums, but he also has those other tracks on other albums that are just like, yeah. like they're not necessarily like spitting real shit. Right, right. Where this shit is like, I felt like front to back, he just raw and uncut, real. What do yeah. you think about the lyrics? They're not, you know, metaphors and real intricate, but he's over there spitting the truth right. and putting it together well. You're a pockhead, so you know there's there's this, right. it, there's this kind of uh, uh, relate, thing real, between real, being between related. Pac and Biggie, where Biggie was a lyricist and Pac was just speaking the real shit, right? So you kind of feel like Boosie is would be more in that realm of the Pac. He embodied it right. in this album, and that's why he, I believe he. I mean, it, that's why it's it's 
it's called what it's called. You know, like it was a wise choice to call it that and also a great choice. You know, right. like it was like I think it was very well fitting to this album to right. call it Bupac because right. the way he did it, it was very Tupac esque, right. you know, like Yeah. Boosie's never been lyrical. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Hasn't. No, he hasn't. But his his lyrics they have like depth. You know what I'm saying? Truth. Paint yeah. a picture for you. Right. And he don't have to there's you more to it. Detail, right. but yet he still paints the picture. Right, of course. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's not easy to do. Also, you know, yeah. like to be able to still paint the picture, but not be that in depth with your wordplay and your your words. Or those are the people that normally, you know, you got a picture and you're like, I see it all because you're actually laying it all the way out. He's spitting it where he's not laying it all the way out, but you still see the picture. Right, right. And you still understand. Right. Uh. What do you, uh, were there any tracks that you, you, uh, oh man, that stood out to you? I'm gonna tell you right now, probably what? my favorite track on the album is Cocaine Fever. Is Cocaine most, Fever? Yeah, it's my favorite track on That's there. It's a dope ass track. Yeah, I, because of, you know, the kind of story he's telling with, you know, the 80s and then, uh, just, the early 2000s BG and Chopper City yeah how like his influence caused a lot of people in the, in, the, in the city to do cocaine and to the end of it where it's like it, it basically gave you this whole story of how he was addicted to cocaine or was messing with cocaine yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. that was like this whole thing oh, yeah. uh, but he gave you like all this backstory of like how that probably came about yeah. you know what I'm saying he's a product of his environment to mm-hmm. an extent. You oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, but that was probably my, my favorite track. That's probably my favorite track from Boosie. That is a dope ever. track. Yeah, you know well, what I'm saying? That was a, a dope ass track. Good ass track. I mean, yeah, he had, some, he had a few dope ass tracks on here. That, I mean, not a few. He had quite a bit of few uh, right, badass right. tracks that I fucking, <laughs> no pun intended, badass tracks. Right. But, I mean, it really is hard to, to, to pick and choose to me. It's like, of, of course, Cocaine Fever was in there. I mean, I I was feeling, you know what I'm saying, shit like real friends. Right. You know, uh, me, myself, and I. <laughs> <laughs> man, Heartless Hearts. I mean, yeah. there's... there's <clears throat> One thing I got to say about this, man, is... Dundada I, went hard. I like the I intro. Like Dundada, the yeah. intro I like the intro. went hard intro, as fuck, too. The one thing I got to say is, uh, is that uh, Boosie makes a lot of... Uh, he says a lot about, like, taxes. Yeah. Like paying high taxes. And I need everybody to understand... Boosie's high taxes are not your taxes, okay? Mm-mm. Boosie got bread. Boosie, Boosie <laughs> probably paying like 30, 40% in taxes, okay? Yeah. So when Boosie, like. He's on that higher bracket. Yeah, like, you just gotta understand this. Boosie's on a way higher bracket than you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So when you're talking about high taxes, you, you, you can't relate to that because you're not paying the taxes that he's they paying. paying. You know what I'm saying? You're just not. So I know people probably like, yeah, that's the problem with my, you know, Taxes is just too high. You know, you're not, you're not. You're actually not relating. Yeah, you're not <laughs> related in this point. Uh, uh, so it's interesting hearing him say this. I know you got bread. It's like, all right. Oh, yeah. You know, you got, you know, you already get money. But some of the songs was very, some of the songs was very sad. Just because you got bread don't mean you, you want, you don't want your bread. No, nah, yeah, of course, like, of course. Yeah, that's why you just complain. Uh, but like yeah. some of the, some of these songs on here was very sad, man. Yeah, there was. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was, was like deep. Yeah, they were deep, man. It was just, you know, uh, like, some of the we talks about like the the mothers with the, with I think it was like motherless sons, mother, yeah. uh, fatherless fatherless kids or whatever. Yeah. That uh, that song was just like damn, that shit that's fucked up. And, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, he he touches on points. You know what I'm saying? He like he doesn't have to get so in depth, but he still. He, I feel like he got in depth with a lot well, of that, shit. Well, that the only, yeah, the only that problem I got with this it. album is. Way too many fucking tracks. Way too many. You thought, Way, you thought not, it was too much. I, I felt, felt like, like it was too many fucking tracks. I felt like that was a, like a, a callback to a callback to to, to, to the old old, to old school old music. Uh, maybe that's what he was thinking too. Like, fuck it, let's just put twenty four tracks. I'm sorry, dog. Twenty four tracks is too many fucking tracks. It's too many. It's... And I like Boosie. I fuck with Boosie. That's too many tracks. I, I think that you can do a double. Just do a double disc. Yeah, you could have. That, you know that, that could have been a double disc. Yeah. Now, on that note, yeah. like when you have that many tracks, why not make it a double disc? Yeah, but 
like I like at least a minimum of at least fifteen personally. Right. That's like to me a, a yeah, album. A good fourteen to fifteen yeah, tracks is like that's an album. I feel like he could have probably and, you know, taken off taken a few up to eight tracks. tracks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fifteen to eighteen is like a, yeah. an album. Right. You know, once you get to the twenties, it's double, right. double, double time. When you get to twenty four, <laughs> it's like, it's like. Some people, all these fucking songs. Some people could make that a triple disc. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> 24 tracks could be a triple disc these days. Yeah. You can put out two, two discs with 10 tracks and then the last one would bonus. Fall. A bonus. Yeah, yeah. A bonus disc. All right, all right. Bonus tracks and shit. People could do that. And they used to just, do that. And then it, it sells more because people say, I'm getting more. Yeah. There's a third disc that <laughs> I wouldn't Lux. have got. What? Deluxe <laughs> edition. Nah, but, um, what you, what you give this on a scale of one to 10, man? I don't give, I give it eight and a half. Eight and a half? Yeah. It was a good album. Mm. It wasn't great. Yeah. But I mean, it was definitely a good album. I love it. Replay value, definitely. It was real as fuck. Air shit out. It ain't eight and a half. I, I, give, I gave it a seven. Mm. Uh, I gave it a seven uh, because, like I said, there's too many tracks for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so that gets you lower scores when you give more? Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like sometimes <laughs> things can run on for longer you. than they need to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this kind of did. But, uh, you know, and like I said, his lyrics aren't the greatest. They're not. You know what I'm saying? But. But it was real as fuck. Right. But yeah, that's yeah. the score right there. Yeah. I gave it a, a seven, seven, seven and a half. Seven and a half, and I gave it an eight and a half. Right. Yeah. Eight. That's it.